Hey everyone, it's Jordan here, back again with this week's update and all the physical releases coming to the Switch. We're in the second week of February, the 7th until the 11th. Remember, once we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED model to one of you. So please subscribe and we can get it as soon as possible. Alright, let's take a look at this week's games. There's not too much going on. Death and Request 2 is releasing at retail this week. This is a JRPG that many people are excited about. A lot of people say it's part visual novel, part JRPG, although the trailer wouldn't really give that away. It just looks pure JRPG to me. I'd be interested in finding out. Anyways, this has an interesting horror theme to it, set in an all-girls dormitory, and it has a very darkly theme to it compared to the original game, a game which many people found underrated. It seems like reviews for this one were slightly lower, but it's still an interesting B-tier JRPG for fans of the genre. There was a limited edition available for pre-order, but that's now sold out, but now the standard edition should be coming this week. And our executive producers Raven Knight, Parsnip Coffee Issa, Cartoon Soren, Alexander Kato, Vey and Elisa have chosen this as their pick of the week. Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition is releasing this week at retail. <laughs> what an absolute joke this is. I don't really need to go over this, do I? Three of the worst remasters in history as a download requirement physical. Honestly, they should have just straight up ported the original games warts and all. And yeah, some people would have moaned that they did the bare minimum, but you know, people moan no matter what you do. It's the internet. It's what the internet was made for. I mean, some people moaned at me for giving away a download code for Record of Lotus War with a kind of jokey question. Come on, guys. I mean, I can't believe they were happy to release this garbage and besmirch their legacy just for a quick book that they don't actually need because Rockstar are already minted. It doesn't make any sense. Just don't buy this. Let it rot on store shelves and send out a message. I, as much as anyone, wants to play Vice City on my Switch, but not like this. I haven't even mentioned all the iconic music they took out of this release. I mean, they might as well have just replaced all of the songs with the developers farting out of the radio. That's about as much respect as they showed to this port. And our executive producer, Thorn Metal Luna, has chosen this as his pick of the week. No judgment is his life choice. All right, the Low Prince Young Souls is going up for pre-order at Limited Run this week. Yes, this was already up for pre-order last week in Europe by Pix and Love with their Standard Edition and Collector's Edition, but now Limited Run are rocking up with their Standard Edition. Do I need to talk about this again? It's a beat-em-up that's not even out yet. It looks decent, but we don't know for sure. And our executive producer, Grant Sert, he wants it. It's his pick of the week. Soul Cresta was put up for order late last week at Limited Run. Yes, this shmup sequel to Moon Cresta and Terra Cresta is actually developed by Platinum Games, which originally started out as an April's Fool's joke from a couple of years back, but now has come to fruition. This looks rather fantastic as it looks to be taking on the classic gameplay and bumping it up a notch with depth added to the gameplay. I love the changing attack mechanics. They have a standard edition as well as a collector's edition. Now, interesting fact, we were down to do some promotion for this, like sponsorship, a couple of videos. Uh, but as soon as I saw that Limited Run were doing a physical release of this, I had to uh, you know, message the PR people to say, actually, mm, we're out of this. Uh, yeah, not that there's anything particularly wrong with this release per se, but you know, we've been critical of Limited Run for quite a few years over many, many aspects. And you know, it just wouldn't be right to be promoting a product that they are now heavily, heavily associated with. It was a big sum, but you know, who needs 700 pounds anyway? Just don't tell my wife. It's also worth noting that there's gonna be a Japanese physical release sometime in the autumn and Limited Run also have a hand in that one too. So yeah, they've got their fingers in the Japanese pies as well. And our executive producer Robotech chosen this as his pick of the week. And also, for some reason, more and more I keep getting asked what my beef is with Limited Run. And you'll notice that I don't reply to those comments. Not because I don't want to, it's big well, kind of I don't want to, because if I did, I'd need to write a massive essay about all the, the many, 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 many areas of bullshit that they do. I don't hate them, I just hate bullshit, and they have a lot of bullshit. If it was another company, I call out their bullshit too, it just happens to be Limited Run who have the most bullshit. When they do have bullshit, there's no bullshit here with, you know, Soul Cresta, so I'm not saying anything about it, yeah? I only say stuff 
when there's actual bullshit. I don't hate them. Alright, the imports. Remember guys, if anything takes your fancy and you'd like to import it for yourself, then consider using the links below in the description and the pinned comment. If you use those links, it also helps this series ever so much. You guys are wonderful and I thank you, you know, I thank you ever so much for everything you do for this series. It would not be where it is today without your support in using our import links. Plus, in return, if you click our links, you can get a very nice 5% off any physical item from Play Asia if you use our new Play Asia discount code Get Physical. Yes, that's all one word, Get Physical, while checking out for 5% of any physical item from Play Asia with a few caveats. I think games on sale. I don't think you can use the code anymore, but I don't know. Anyways, regardless, this week. Let's Play Curling! Now, as you may have been aware, I'm massively excited for Let's Play Curling because I think we can all agree, as far as sports go, it's the best one. You know, just ahead of Conkers and Slapsies. Yo! Yeah! Yo! Yo! Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think we can all agree this is going to be Import of the Year. Of course, if it has English. Right? It has English, yeah? Fuck it, fuck it, we're done, we are done. My next life as a villainess, all roots lead to doom, pirates that stir the waters is a fantastic name for a game and it's releasing in Japan this week but there's no English, apparently pirates are a Japanese privilege too. I should also mention Nurse Love Obsession, the Asian release, it was supposed to come out last week but was pushed back to this week I think. And also, normally, I wouldn't mention something like this, but I do think it's interesting to note that some rather expensive Japanese visual novel imports on Play Asia now have a more reasonable price. If you've been checking, like myself, you'll have seen games like Clanad, Little Busters, Grisaya, all of them usually over $100 at various points. Well, Play Asia seem to have sourced more reasonable stock as they have a bunch of visual novels at what I would say reasonable prices. And when I say reasonable, I mean reasonable for Japanese visual novels. So if you've been in the market for Little Busters for $50 instead of $150, then check the links below to those. And last week, I wanted to give away two download codes for Eglia. I asked you guys to head over to the Eglia review and answer the very simple question, which US rapper would love that game? And the answer, of course, was MC Hammer. And I think 99% uh, of you got that correct, apart from a couple of people who said, like, Chance the Rapper, and some people who just said, they just wanted to go there to say they hated rap music, which, you know, fair enough, but come on. It's a jokey little quiz. And the winners are Marcio Quintanero and James is Jim. Congrats to you two. Please contact me in some way or I'll message you on those comments and I'll sort you out with a code. Don't worry about that. All right, the community spotlight. Alonso Sanchez, thanks for using our links to purchase some of these games. Massively appreciate the support. A couple of very nice horror visual novels in Deathmark and NG, both of which featured in my video about fantastic horror VNs on the Switch and on other consoles as well. Over on VN Paradise, check out my channel. Ashura G sent in a magical high school girl, long, long in the making from Strictly Limited Games, I think almost two years or something. Really taking the piss just for this. Bart B Man, thanks for your support by using our links to purchase this cat and I mean uh, these games. Battle Cats, man, I really want to try that game. It looks absolutely mental. Brandon Denton sent in this picture. Trigger Witch finally sold out last week. I hope you didn't miss out on it. Really fun twin stick shooter. Colleen sent in this photo of two very beautiful games, Ori and Gris. I really should stop playing around and play both of these games at some point. Executive producer Alyssa sent in this photo of a recent enough JRPG from Koei, Blue Reflection Second Light. I'd actually like to see the first game in the series ported to the Switch. I heard it had quite its, you know, quite a few flaws, but you know, I want to start from the first entry. Gemini 06 sent in Pokemon. I know a lot of people are enjoying it, and I did play a friend's copy for a short while, like 30 minutes, but that was not enough to get past the tutorial. But you know, the game mechanics seem spot on. Kill sent in this much sought after limited run release of Divinity 2 Original Sin. Shame this never got a retail release, it deserves it. Little Raven, thanks for using our links to pick up Record of Lodos War. One of many out there to show your support buying this one, massively appreciate it. Really, really great game. Marcio Quintiniero, 
congrats on the Eglia. Uh, they sent in this photo of some all-time classic imports, and these were just from last year alone. I heard that the latest release of Romancing Saga 3, despite the gorgeous artwork, the actual in-game graphics were downgraded somewhat compared to the first release. I saw photos. I personally didn't notice too much difference, but others did, so it is something to be aware of if you're unsure about which one to choose. If you really, really care about the, you know, the perfect one, then choose the older release. Neverbur sent in this photo one of these games I actually helped him purchase. I wonder if you could guess which one. Nintendo Gamer Gal sent in this photo of some really sweet games. Thanks for using our links to purchase the bottom three BNs. Actually, Clanad is now somewhat decently priced, so don't miss out. I, I mentioned that already, but whatever. Nicholas Baum, a man of culture, picking up the recent 5th anniversary edition of My Girlfriend is a Mermaid. The sold out on Play Asia even before release, but look to be getting more stock later this week. OB Bolo showed off their commitment to the Shantae series on the Nintendo Switch with almost, I think, almost all the cartridge releases. This is why Limited Run milk her so hard. Big fan base. Ali Taro, thanks for using our links to purchase this cat. I mean, Hashihime of the Old Book Town, one of the very few boy love visual novels on the Switch. It's an import exclusive and it does have English. Executive producer Parsnip Coffee sent in a couple of great releases the NES style looking Castlevania collection. Just wish it had a retail release, come on guys. Executive producer Robotech sent in this photo of some fun games. Pigeon Dev Games Collection there from Premium Edition Games. Looking forward to their next bunch of games. Especially excited for Phenotopia. That's what it's called, I always forget. Stewie sent in this obscure controller that's primarily used for Hatsune Miku. Speaking of which, when is the next Hatsune Miku game coming? It's been a couple of years now since the last one. Executive producer Thorn Metaluna, thanks for your extra support by using our links to purchase these games. Stein's Gate is one I definitely need to tick off my list. Most people would say it's perhaps the best visual novel ever, and the Switch version is the best of it. Executive producer Vei, our man in Japan, showing off some fantastic releases with both the Kogan and Luminous Avenger 2 collector's editions, looking fantastic indeed. Absolutely loving that box art. I will pop links below if PlayAsia still have any stock left. And our executive producer Isa finally added the double helping of Outlast games on the Switch. I'm guessing this was not particularly cheap to do so. All right, let's have a round of Adam J. Brian Retro Gaming Guy, Choco Loco James, Craig Morgan, Cyan Wisp, Ilundara, Girly Game DM, Golabat Lover, Ike. Invasor Zim Irina Craid Kraken Manji Max One Two One Six McLaren Needless Dragon Pabs Park Ranger Q Freak Robin Hatherall Rovest Psych Villain Sosha Starvy Steven665 Vast Neon Alright, please send me your pictures on Twitter So what about game? You can DM me or tag me in a post Use the hashtag Let's get physical We have an email address SwitchWatchSpotlight Gmail.com And we have a Discord Which is a nice way for us to have a chat with you guys And you can send your pictures there In the submissions section Discord server link is below Please just send me one picture per week Alright, I hope you enjoyed this very brief episode of Let's Get Physical. Special thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Kato, J. Cross 7776, Elisa, Punky Dusta, Michael Del Polito, Cartoon Soren, Robotech, Z, Raven Knight, Thorn Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Government Fat Cat, Issa, V, 
Mental Traveler and Grant Sir. Thank you for your amazing support. Plus you, yeah, you watching right now. If you watched all the way through, what a massive legend you are. If you are the one who watched all the way through this video, then leave me a radio with a, a fart coming out of it. Can you do that? If you can do that with emojis, then mad props to you. I don't know if that's possible, but give it a try. See what happens. I'll see you guys on the next video. Please check out my new channel. I really, really appreciate that. Have a good one. Take care.